All right, wanted to do a video on the aluminized Cuban fiber z pax duplex. And there's going to probably be a great amount of uh, sun reflection off this thing. I for apologize for that if it causes any blindness in this video. So there's been a lot of, not a lot, but some individuals out there on the internet that have been complaining about my pitches not being taut enough. So I went ahead and set this up as taut as I can get this aluminized Cuban fiber. Uh, I will say it is, wow, it is significantly uh, more difficult to get taut than the other Cuban fiber shelters I've had that weren't aluminized. For instance, the camo duplex I had was able to get uh, a little bit more taut. Uh, so there is a small wind. It's maybe eight to maybe eight, nine miles per hour when it just gusts. So very small. Uh, so you might see it flapping a little bit, such as right there. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's not a very, very taut pitch. Uh, so for instance, on this side, I'm using my uh, Z-Pax carbon fiber staff. You can see that uh, there is very, very little stress put on here. You know, normally there would be great stress lines here and here. And you can see them a little bit here and uh, even up into here. But that is really as tight as I can get this shelter. So those of you familiar with, you know, those normal stress lines, you know, when you tie up, you know, in this direction. And even when you don't, even when you go straight down, then you get the top, the, the stress fold lines right in here. But uh, that's that's definitely not the case here. And that, that truly is as tight or as taut as, as I can get this shelter. Uh, and just to show everybody, I am using um, the, what is it, the two or 2.3 mil millimeter line from uh, Lawson's, it's the, um, the glow wire. And I'm using just a standard uh, MSR Groundhog with the uh, line lock three with uh, webbing on there. And that's just my preferred way, however the hell you wanna set up your tent and set it up. Just how I like doing it. So you can see that, I don't know, well you can't really tell, but picking that up right there requires a significant amount of effort. And uh, yeah, so it, it's pretty taut. Um, there's the ridge line. It is, uh, it is also taut. I can pull that back maybe, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. And as you can see, even pulling that back a quarter of an inch, hopefully you can see it, it's not causing any further tension along the, uh, the ridge line. So anyway, that is, uh, that is as, pretty much as, as taut as this shelter is going to get. Nice little bit of wind gust there. You can see it concaving in a little bit. Anyway, uh, real quick, I have the thermo inside, so I'm gonna grab it. It's been in there about 20 minutes. And uh, let me go grab it and then pull it out. I'm gonna have the door open. It reads 75.7 with a 54% uh, percent humidity. I'm now gonna bring it out and set it down on the ground. And nobody really wants to watch this, so uh, I'm going to cut away and then come back in five minutes which is the, the baseline I've been doing for all these tests has been five minutes. So uh, I'll just pause and return in five minutes. All right, so I went inside, offloaded the first part of this video to the machine, got it processing, and uh, I'm going to look at the, uh, the temperature now. So, so that is 108 and 26 degree and 26 percent. Yeah, 108.3, 26 
24% humidity. And that's uh, being outside the shelter for about five minutes. I think that pretty much does a good job of uh, explaining things. Thanks for watching.